Falling Contest. Three three-minute rounds for the Fighters Rep 135-pound championship. Introducing first, fight on the blue corner. He stands at five feet, six inches tall, weighting at fight time at 135.6 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, representing Black House MMA, 10th Planet Long Beach, and Predator Fight Team, Christopher Constrictor Cruz! And introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. He stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighted at fight time at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Norwell, California, representing Evolve Training Center, Royal Michael Redman! Strap for the strap. We've got. Redman here, looking tall, taller fighter. He's probably going to stay outside. Let's see what Christopher does here. Christopher he's looking like a wild man before the fight. See how he deals with this length. Off with a big take kick down. that got caught, straight into a takedown. Michael straight to the takedown. Christopher's right back up. Oh, he better fight the neck here. Great hand fighting by Christopher. Oh, nice there. job with Christopher. To negative to positive right there. And let's see how his top game is. Now he's, he's on great. top. Looks like some good hip pressure here. Come on, come on, come on. Looking, looking to rain down some punches here. Michael's bringing it back to the cage like he should be. Let's see if he can posture. Christopher really trying to open him up with those punches and see if he can advance position. But Michael very, very wisely getting his guard back. Michael with closed guard, which can be tough when you're smashed up against the cage. You want to open that up, kick a wing, and let's see what he's going to do here. Yeah. Oh, trying to kick away. Chris, Chris Savvy to the armbar attempt there. And oh, how about that reversal? Nice job by Michael. Oh, oh, some slick stuff there. Tell you what, this is turning into quite the grappling match, not, again, what I was expecting. Hunting for the leg here. Oh, look at that. Hunting for the leg here. But in MMA, going for that kind of a leg lock definitely leaves you susceptible to punches. Particularly in the amateurs here when there's very few leg locks that are legal, yes. so, you know. What is, what is this? He's got a triangle look, look with the leg in. I've, I've never seen this. And let's see if he can turn that into a Kimura attempt here. Wow! This is uh, something I... Some of that tricky 10th planet stuff right there. <laughs> and using it to end both fighters back up to their feet. Using it to get up. Great, great technical stuff right there. Looks like he's locking up that double. Christopher, he's got 10 seconds. Can he finish it? It looks to be, I can see him wincing here. Oh no. Can he survive? And he does. Wow. Another one, it seems like we've been seeing a lot of these near finishes saved by the bell moments in the show tonight. And it was on the adjustment there that Michael actually locked it in. Yeah. Michael with, Michael with great damage from the top. When he got, had the opportunity to rain down punches, he did. 
He needs to be a little bit more careful with his base and his balance so he doesn't get swept again. Right. Because Christopher looks to be very savvy on the ground. Yeah, yeah, both fighters sh uh, showcasing some great skills. Both doing some great moves on the ground. Both were in bad spots and were able to turn that around. Both, both men look like they're ready to go. No sign of gassing yet. No touching gloves for these guys. No, 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 they're getting right into it here. Christopher's looking to get this straight to the ground here. Christopher has amazing pressure here, Hip, hipping in, trying to get that body lock. Michael did a great job at digging that underhook and slowing that down. That looked almost over. He needs to keep elevating that underhook and switch his hips. There you go, that's it. He can switch positions here, get his back off the cage. Chris drop, drop into that high single. This is a case where, oh, perfect. There it is, beautiful. High crotch. Let's see if Michael Michael's gonna take up that single. It stands right up with it, how about that? Oh, Christopher looking to lock now up. Now Christopher has to get to you. Let's go, man. Uh oh, uh -oh this could be bad. Michael really looking to do some damage here. Looking to post. Got pepper, back. pepper, pepper. Landing shots here. Oh, standing knee. Let's see if he can get two hooks in. Make sure he stays staying base here. Looks like he's shaking him. See who's gonna come on top here. Chris, we're getting his head out. Perfect. Staying calm in a bad position and ended up on top. Yeah. Great shoulder pressure here. Looking for the pass straight into mount. Perfect. That shoulder pressure really did it there. Really did. And he's gonna let him roll. Christopher needs to score some points here. Now that he's got the back, say he's probably down a little bit. He needs to land some shots. Looks like he's choked. Looks like he's sneaking the choke through. Can he get it? Can he get the finish here? Body triangle. Oh, looks like he's sneaking through. Uh, that might be under the chin. Michael really trying to fight those hands. He's gonna lose. I think he's gonna go to sleep here. He's out. Wow! Christopher with an amazing, amazing wow. choke there. And Michael's still out. Yeah, that was, you could see where he made that decision. Like, am I gonna tap? No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out. <laughs> You know, in the amateurs, if you are caught in an arm bar or some sort of a joint lock, we will stop it for you. Absolutely. Um, but when it comes to chokes, we want to give the fighters every chance possible. And really, there's no damage from a choke. You go to sleep for a couple of seconds, you wake up, you're fine, ultimately. Wow, well, Christopher showing great technique on the ground, man. Yeah, very savvy. Yeah, he was in some bad places, worked his way out, stayed calm. And are they uh, looking to... Coming up, coming up. That was a little bit of a scare. He was out for a couple extra seconds there. 
Yeah. But nothing we haven't seen in the training room before. No, I think if, yeah, especially if you're not used to it, it can it can, it can be a little scary, but I can't tell you how, countless times that's happened to me in the training room. and. I mean, I never know where I put my keys, but for the most part, <laughs> I'm still pretty good. All right, fight fans. Give it up one more time for both fighters. Your referee, George Gallegos, called the stop to the fight. Two minutes, 48 seconds in the second round. Declare your winner via rear naked choke submission. Christopher Constrictor Cruz! And he is now your fighters rep 135 pound champion! And give it up guys for Mikey Redman as well. Gave a hell of a fight. Seems to be doing okay. There you go, all right. We got your winner, your new 135 pound champion. Now, Christopher, living up to your nickname, the Constrictor Cruz, there's a part in the first round, you guys literally were wrapped up with each other. Was your intentions from the beginning to win via submission? Yeah, always. Yeah, it's my, that's my thing, that's what I go for. So protect your neck at all times, like Wu-Tang, you know? Um, I wanna thank. George for giving me the opportunity to fight for the belt. I also want to let everybody know this is my last amateur fight. It's on to the pros, my coaches. They, that's what they want me to do. And uh, I have a, if I may, I have a, a name in mind that I would want to fight. It's the fighters rep flyweight champion at pro for CXF. So if you could make it happen, I know you got power, so let me know. I'm in there, you know. Uh, Robert Duran, that's who I want to fight. There you go. There you go. Well, Robert Duran, this guy, Christopher Cruz, knocking on the door. Way to go to end your amateur career with a great big win. What do you have to say to all your fans here at the Sportsman's Lodge? Uh, you know, win, lose, or draw to God be the glory always. All the fighters that went out here tonight that are going to fight and still have to fight, um, this is a journey. It's an individual journey, and it's going to be ups and downs at all times. Um, I want to thank my wife, my daughter. I'm, be, I'm blind, so I can't see where they're at. Uh, I'm sure they're somewhere around. Yeah, there's right. someone here. I just want to see my daughter and my wife and tell them how much I, I'm, I'm blessed to have them because they let me choose this, and it's, it's not easy for, you know, fighting is a selfish thing, yes. you know? And um, I spend time away from my family. As an amateur, I handle myself as a pro, come out of a pro camp, so. To God be the glory always. Well, congratulations and good luck with your pro career, Christopher Cruz. One more time, give it up for your new 135 Fighters Rep Champion, Christopher Constrictor Cruz.